Meta AI has released Code Llama, which is a state of art large language model for coding. So this model can take as input your prompt, okay, which is something like this in bash. How do I list all text files in the current uh, directory, right? Excluding subdirectories and it can produce a response like this, right? It gives the command over here. You can use find command. Okay. So what can code llama be used for? Code llama can be used for code completion. It can be used for generating code. Uh, it is capable of generating code and natural language about code from both code and natural language prompts. Okay. Uh, and uh, this is built on top of Llama 2. And there are three models available. Code Llama, the foundational code model. Code Llama Python specialized for, uh, which is specialized for Python. And Code Llama Instruct, which is fine tuned for understanding natural language instructions. Okay. So if you look at uh, these three models, they have a figure over here. So what they did was they took Llama 2 and they further trained it using infilling code training task. Okay. On close to 500 billion tokens of code text. And then you have these three families coming up from this, right? Uh, the first one is then they further did long context fine tuning on close to 20 billion tokens. And that is your code llama foundational model. Okay. And there are three sizes over here in the code llama family, uh, 7 billion parameter model, 13 billion parameter model and 34 billion parameter model. Okay. So from the code llama foundational model, they did instruction fine tuning on additional 5 billion tokens and we get the code llama instruct model. Okay. Which can take in natural languages input and which can produce you output uh, code as output or code with text as output. Okay. So here uh, you also have code Llama Python, which is further training of, you know, uh, this particular uh, model, which is the find uh, what you call pre-trained Llama model again, further trained on infilling code training on 500 billion tokens, and then further training on Python code on 100 billion tokens, long context fine tuning on 20 billion tokens, you get the code Llama Python, which is specifically for Python because Python is a very versatile language and is used in a lot of machine learning and data science tasks, you have this code llama Python model. Okay. Now, if you look at the performance on human level and most basic Python programming, these tests, uh, you will see that uh, llama, code llama 34 billion uh, scored 53.7% on human level and 56.2% on MVP. Uh, uh, on this, which is compared with the other state of art open solution and on par with chat GPT. So this model is better than other open source solutions, but it is on par with GPT 3.5 or chat GPT still a long way to go, uh, when compared to GPT four. So if you look at the performance over here, GPT four has around uh, say 67 is the score over here, right? In this human eval, uh, uh, benchmark. Okay. Whereas code llama, uh, 34 billion is 48.8 code llama instruct 34 billion is 41.5 code llama Python 13 billion is 53.7. Okay. So these models have, uh, you know, if you look at the performance, they have still a long way to catch up to GPT 3.5, uh, GPT four, sorry. They are on par or close to GPT 3.5. Okay. But among the open source models, this is state of art. Okay. So this is about code llama. So the models are released on GitHub. You can actually go and download the models and make use of it. I'm waiting for these models to come on hugging face so that I can make tutorials on this particular model. So this is an interesting development. Uh, some more details are present in the paper, right? Like the kind of prompts uh, they use to train, right? Some of the prompts are like this which is like light, uh, write 50 programming language interview questions of EC and medium complexity providing, um, provide questions on a diverse range of subjects. So this is a prompt used to generate interview style programming questions. Okay. Then you have evaluation prompts like this, right? Uh, so prompt template used to generate unit tests. Okay. So there you have the substring question is a placeholder for an interview style programming question, which they replace at runtime. Okay, so this is the kind of prompt over here where your task is to write five tests to check the correctness of a function that solves a programming problem. 
uh, the test must be between uh, tests and test tags. So here the task is to write the test. Okay, right. This is a prompt template used for generating a solution. So your task is to write a Python function to solve a programming problem. The Python code must be between Python and Python tags. And this is what needs to be generated. The instruction is what uh, is filled. Okay. So that is the idea over here. Um, so this is the prompt for MPPP zero shot task. You are an expert Python programmer. Here is your task. Your code should pass these tests. Your code should start with a Python tag and end with a Python tag. Okay. So this is your uh, your instruction prompts okay and evaluation prompts uh, another interesting thing which i liked over here was uh, let me go to that they have given the model uh, what is that basically the model card okay yeah model details model card so this has been trained on uh, so the training all nine code llama models required 400k gpu hours of computation on hardware type of a 180 gp graphics cards okay and they have estimated the total emissions were 65.3 tco2 equivalent which is offset by meta sustainability program every paper should release this carbon footprint so you can understand the amount of gpus required for actually you know uh, training these models okay so this was a short video on the code llama family of models uh, i hope you like this video and it is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel i'll be putting the link to this blog and the paper in the description of the video do check it out see you in another video